Welcome YouTubers. Scratch building, weathering, construction and operations. I'm your host, Harry English. Like subscribe and comment now. A recent visit to the Milepost 38 hobby shop in Orange County yielded a two-pack of covered hopper kits from Proto 2000. Cost. 1998 plus tax. These kits are a serious step up from a Q-Rail or Athen Blue Box, and contain many parts of fine detail. The instructions are of excellent quality providing prototype information and exploded diagrams. I familiarized myself with the assembly and checked each part to ensure nothing was missing. Brake gear and rigging, hatches, and bolsters all nicely molded. This kit is meant to be assembled in less than an hour. The trucks are nicely detailed with metal wheel sets included as well. The parts are factory painted with applied decals of good quality. The grab irons and ladders are also nicely molded, although a bit of trimming was required. After inspecting the kit and instructions, assembly began in earnest. Each piece was carefully cut from the sprue and cleaned up with a file. Here you can see the trimming and filing of the center beam that spans the distance between the hopper bays. The vibration brackets, cross beams, and rigging were trimmed and test fitted. This was by far the most time consuming step in the assembly process. Moving along to the next step, the hopper bay doors were cut from the sprue and trimmed using blade and file. Each door was fitted in place and any adjustments made. The doors were then attached with a drop of plastic cement. Work started at one end of the car and moved down to the other. First, the B end bolster was carefully maneuvered into place using a tweezer and secured with cement. Then, any additional parts such as airlines or brake parts were secured. Next, the brake line running the length of the car was cut, trimmed, and secured working from one end to the other. And finally, the A end bolster was dropped in place and attached. The brake rigging at each end was cut and trimmed, and fitted and glued. These parts were nicely detailed and added great realism to this kit. Even the brake wheel and chain were finely molded with each link visible. Even at this level of detail, the parts were strong and durable, and withstood handling well. Also notice the see-through platform at each end. Finely molded, thin, and well detailed each platform was separately applied. Here KD number 58 metal couplers were used in lieu of the standard supplied plastic proto couplers. The number 58s appear more prototypically sized, and seem to outlast plastic molded couplers, especially given the massive amount of weight that will be seen installed in this car. After securing the couplers, the train line hoses and coupler cut levers were added from my own stock, as these parts were not supplied with the kit. The final phase of the kit's construction was securing the internal weight. 
These metal blocks fit nicely and are secured with screws. For a more prototypical experience, extra weight is added to bring the car up to about 12 ounces, or roughly 350 grams. Pennies and used wheel weights were secured with super glue and lastly, the roof was snapped in place. Follow along next time as this kit car gets some quick prototype weathering. Thank you for sharing this video. Like, subscribe, and comment now.